Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily apply motion tracker effect to your videos in Shotcut Editor. First of all, let's add this video clip from playlist to timeline in Shotcut. Drag and drop the clip like this. Let me zoom in using this button here and play the clip and see how it looks with no effects. So what we want to achieve is use motion tracker and track this person's hand here and cover it with the sign no smoking. And to do that, first of all, we have to move the playhead now back to the start of the clip. Uh, navigate over video track one here. Right click, go to track operations and add video track. So now we have added secondary video track here. And this is where we need to add this image. Drag and drop the image to video track two and adjust the duration of this image to match the video clip below just like this and for now let's hide this image click on this button here now go back to video track one select this clip in video track one here navigate to filters add a filter type in and find the filter called motion tracker okay now in here we have motion tracker settings and on the preview window you should see this little uh, box here so if you left click you can move it around and what we need to do here is position this box over the area that we want to track so in this case i want to track this person's hand and the vape this is what we want to cover and if you also click on any of these little boxes here you can just drag it and adjust the size so let's make it slightly bigger so that it covers um, more area on the screen and it can focus uh, and track better let's say this much okay now go back here to the motion tracker settings and click on this button analyze and as you can see now shotcut is analyzing the clip so it's basically just going from uh, start to finish uh, through all frames here on the jobs you can also see the progress so my clip here is uh, quite short so it shouldn't take too long if you have a long clip it might take a little longer okay so we're nearly finished and that's it it's done now if i replay this clip so i have show preview selected here click play and as you can see now this green box is showing uh how the motion tracker is tracking the area that we selected perfect now let's go back to the start of this clip and next what's left to do is attach that image to this area so to do that we have to navigate back to video track 2 here select this image and make sure you unhide it so it's visible again then in filters add a filter and type in and find a filter called size position and rotate okay now as you can see these are the settings for uh, for the image but you also see these little um, corners here that you can just left click and adjust the size manually like this. So this is probably the easiest way to adjust the size. Now you can also left click and just move the object um, over the area that we want to track. Okay, let's make it this, this big, okay. And what's left now to do is uh, in size position rotate settings here below we have to click on the load keyframes from motion tracker click on it and then on this pop-up window open motion tracker and select tracker one so it automatically picks up the uh, keyframes from our motion tracker on this clip and then on the adjust select absolute position for best results now we want to track it from start and click apply now if we replay this clip as you can see now the image is following the hand and that's it now before you go ahead and export your clip just make sure you go back to the video track one and deselect this show preview window if you don't do this when you export your clip you will see this um square box in green and you might not want to 
uh, see it on your project. So just make sure you untick this show preview uh, box and then you're good to go and export your clip. And that's it guys. This is how you apply motion tracker effect in Shotgut. Simple and easy. And if this was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and see you in the next video.